Hello and welcome to PJ's Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about an introduction to limits in calculus. An example of how limits arise in calculus is when we try to find a tangent to a curve. For example, if we have a parabolic function such as y equals x squared, how do we go about finding the slope of a line tangent to the curve like in the image below. We can start by drawing a secant line instead of trying to find the slope of a tangent directly. So we do this by plotting two points on the curve and drawing a line between them. In this case, at x equals 1 and x equals 2, having the coordinates 2, 4, and 1, 1 respectively. And we can find the slope of this line by taking the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. In this case, 4 minus uh, 1 over 2 minus 1 equals 3. As point 2 moves closer to point 1, the secant line approaches the true tangent. We can slowly bring this point closer and see what this effect has on the slope of the line by plotting the x and y values. So as you can see, as the x value a point 2 approaches point 1, our slope approaches 2. We can express this as a limit. So the limit as x approaches x1, or, or in this case 1, um, is really what we're looking for as we, as we decrease that value. And we see we get the same result of 2. Based on this, we can say that the slope of the line tangent to y equals x squared at 1, 1 is 2. But what if we want to find the slope at any point on the function? We can write this with a general form. Let's consider this. For a function y equals f of x on a given point x and a point at a point x, f of x, what is the slope of the function? So we can use the same strategy we, we employed before by taking a, another point, x plus h, or distance h away from x, with the coordinates x plus h and y coordinate f of x plus h. The slope of this secant line then is f of x plus h minus f of x minus x plus h minus over, over x plus h minus x. As h approaches 0, we approach the true tangent at any arbitrary point on the function. We write this as the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x. This incidentally is how we find the derivative of a function. Using this approach, we can determine the equation to find the slope of just about any function, provided it's continuous, at any point. Let's return to the y equals x squared function as an example. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x minus f, f, f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus h equals, in this case, x plus h squared minus x squared all over h. And we get the result of 2x. So at any given point on x squared, the slope of the tangent line is 2x. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. And if you have any other questions or sample problems you want done, please submit them in the comments. Thanks.